We're outside. Grayson is doing sidewalk chalk. He's been doing his letters. He likes to do uppercase letter and lowercase letter. Yeah. He's good at that because I have two children. I have Porter here and he's in the backyard. So I have to keep going between the front yard and the backyard to check on both babies. Hi, and guess who else is here in the backyard with us? It's Berkeley. We're dog sitting again. So we've got Berkeley with us for a few days. Unfortunately, I don't have a fenced in backyard. So I either have to put her on the leash or I put her on this little line here. That's just like chained up here. You want me to take it? Thank you. Uh, you want the car? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Porter is obsessed with this car and any chance he gets, he wants to get in it. And he likes yeah. to just sit in and push the, the beeper. <laughs> and he likes me to push him around, but he hasn't quite understood that he has to lift up his legs because he just drags them, which makes it hard to push, huh? You gonna get in the car? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Get in it. Do you want me to put you in it? Yeah. Okay. There, you're in the car. He <laughs> loves it. And Berkeley's just chilling. Now I have to go back to Grayson and check on him. Moms of two plus kids. Is this normal? <laughs> I always have one child that wants to play in the front yard and one that wants to play in the backyard and it stresses me out because I have to keep tabs on both at the same time and obviously that's impossible so I have to keep going back and forth. Here's Grayson, he's still doing sidewalk jack. Yeah. So um, this morning um, I was feeling adventurous. Let me preface, this week is spring break for Grayson. This is our first ever spring break um, that we've experienced. And so today is Tuesday. Normally he would have gone to preschool this morning, but because it's spring break, he didn't have preschool. So I thought I would try to do some kind of schooling. And so I took them to the library to do story time at the library. There's Porter, he's still in the car. Happy, happy. And uh, so yeah, I ended up going and taking them to the story time at the library. I had not been to an inside story at the library since before the pandemic. One of the libraries in our area was doing outside story times, like in the fall when the weather was still nice, but that stopped because it got cold. And so now they started doing inside story times. And so we went and oh my gosh, it was packed. I'm not sure if it was because a lot of schools in the area are on spring break this week or it's just the thing to do, I don't know, but it was packed. So we went and I took the boys, I took a couple of clips. Which box uh, should she look in? Brown? Somebody, somebody brown. Are you in the brown box? Let's count two, three, and we will see. One, two, three. Are you guys driving on the school bus? Wow! The library just finished story time and we're driving the school bus. You say beep beep. Grayson loved it. He was doing all the movements, he was shouting out the answers, loved it. Porter hate it, hated it. He was like terrified of the story time. I don't know if it was because the music was really loud. The leader of the story time who worked at the library, I was not crazy about. She was like way too high energy. She knocked over a kid at one point cause she was just like running around like crazy. It was, it was like she was on something. I don't know. It was just too much. And so Porter, like, as soon as they started singing the first song, he started screaming, crying, like terrified. So for the first, like, 
it was like a it's a 30 minute thing so i'd say like for the first like 20 minutes he would not even look up he would just i was holding him sitting down and he was just like burying his face in my coat like would not even look up so he was terrified um towards the end he started actually like clapping and he'd look up so it did get better um but he was so scared pandemic baby problems i guess so um yeah it was interesting and then afterwards like they have a little play area in the library so we went and did that they had like magnetic letters and they had like a touch screen video game that gray liked and porter's favorite thing was they had like a little school bus with a steering wheel and you could sit in it and it was just like the fire truck at kosai he was obsessed with it he loved it he wanted to sit in it when other people wanted to turn he didn't want to give it up which ultimately led to his meltdown <laughs> was people wanted turns and so I took him out and he wanted to get back in and so he had a fit of course you know in the library you're supposed to be quiet he had the loudest scream ever was having a meltdown and I was just like okay we're leaving so I grabbed Grayson he was in the middle of playing with something and I was like we're going <laughs> and so <laughs> we left and went home I don't know Porter he's been sneezing a bunch he's got a runny nose not sure if he is getting a cold. Grayson doesn't seem to be showing signs of a cold. I don't feel cold, neither does Anthony. So he might be getting cold or his cheeks are kind of red. So he might be teething. He's getting his molars in. So it might be that too. He's been a little cranky today, but it was nice to get out of the house, um, do something different. We might go do story time again tomorrow at a different library. We'll see if I, get the energy to do that <laughs> but uh yeah so that was our adventure this morning and then the boys took naps well Porter did Grayson did not and then we've just been hanging out I didn't really want to go outside because it's not uber uber warm today it's like 43 but sunny so the sun does help but tomorrow's going to be like mid 70s so we're going to be outside like most of the time tomorrow I'm so pumped about it but we only get one day of warmth because the next day after that it's supposed to rain and then go back into like the 50s so we get one warm day and that's it so bummer Grayson what are you making oh family our family yeah. oh mommy daddy Grayson Porter Berkeley oh you made Berkeley in your family that's so cute He's so cute, he's becoming a little artist. Um, so anyway, yeah, we're just hanging out outside, trying to pass the time and make dinner tonight. It's bath night tonight um, and then bed. So we're making it through the day. I was like dreading this week because spring break, so I don't get that like time off with Gray on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I don't know how I'm gonna survive the summer. Well. I think it'll be easier in the summer because it'll be warm. It's just hard because it's spring break and it's cold. So hopefully it'll get better. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're just kind of hanging out and dog sitting and trying to enjoy the warmish weather. So yeah, I, I really hope spring comes soon. I mean, I guess technically we're in spring, but it just feels like winter, honestly. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys are surviving your spring break whenever that was. Columbus has the columbus schools have all different spring breaks some were two weeks ago some were last week a lot of them are this week so it's just all across the board but um we're just trying to survive till we go back to preschool grayson is spelling out letters with the lawnmower <laughs> it's so cute Here we go, Porter, here in the swing. E. E, good job. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so into out the alphabet, you guys. Let's go back. And here's Berkeley. Hi, Berkeley. She's grumpy because I have her on the line. <laughs> I've taken her off the line in the past, and when I do that, she does fine. She stays in our yard. But then when it's time to go inside, she runs from me. And so I have to chase her. 
and I'm not playing that game. So that's why she's on the line and she's grumpy, but she lost, she lost my trust. It wasn't just one time, it was multiple times. And then she started running to the front yard, backyard, and so I was like, I'm not doing that anymore. So that's why she's on the line. Um, it's just easier than me having to go inside and get the leash, so. Yeah, honey. Porter's in the swing. Hey guys, I just wanted to close out this vlog. I didn't end up recording anything else after we were playing outside. I convinced the boys to come inside. I was freezing. They wanted to stay outside. They're crazy, but I had to make dinner. So I convinced them to come inside. I made dinner. We did bath, played a little bit, and then bedtime. Um, so nothing really else happened. That's why I didn't vlog it. So anyway, I just wanted to close this vlog out while I'm talking to you guys. I just wanted to give you a little update on the house hunting. We went and saw a house on Saturday. Today is Tuesday. So we went and saw a house on Saturday and the layout was just we couldn't couldn't do it. The layout was super funky um, and the house like needed paint on all the walls and we've done that with this house i refuse to do that again so that house was just a no the kitchen was gorgeous though but no not good then we thought we'd look into some new builds just to see what our options were no bidding war so we thought we'd check it out so we went there and and looked but there were two problems with the new build one is the timeline they don't have any houses that are like built and just like up for grabs you basically have to start at like square one of like picking a lot and designing your house and that and then like them building it and that whole thing is like 15 month wait right now that's not cool and then the second problem we had is the location is just so far north um anthony's job in columbus is like on the east side and the location we were looking at was on the west side and northwest side it would be really hard for us to live there it would basically be like a 40 minute commute every day one way for anthony so although we loved the way the houses looked and i honestly i would be willing to wait that long for a new build but in the end it was just the location it's just it's just too far and that's the problem with columbus i don't know if that's how it is where you are but here in columbus there's tons of new builds everywhere but the problem is is that the the only locations that new builds are are in the middle of nowhere because all of the rest of like the populated places are already built with like all these old homes <laughs> So that's the problem. Unless a, a developer comes in and like demolishes like a whole neighborhood and rebuilds it, like they're stuck with doing it on like the outskirts of town. And like that new build location was like nine minutes from downtown. It just, it wasn't, it just, the location was bad. So we said no to that. And then we went and saw another house on Monday. This house was it's kind of a weird situation. So we wanted to go see it, had a showing to go see it. Then all of a sudden we got a notification from our realtor that it's off the market and already contingent. And we were like, how? The showings haven't even started yet. This was like several days before it was set to come on the market. Apparently this house got a offer for a, I forget what it's called. It's basically like, a, we'll take it without even looking at it, like unseen something. I forget what it's called. And the offer must have been so, so good. They must have went way over asking price for these people to just take this offer and not wait for, you know, a million other offers to come their way. So we were really bummed about that. But then our realtor said, well, actually, they're still doing showings um, and allowing backup offers to be submitted if this original offer falls through. So she's like, do you still want to go see it? And we were like, well, I guess we have nothing to lose. So why not? So we went and saw this house and of course we loved it. I knew we would from looking at like the pictures online. I just knew, this is Felix. I just knew it was gonna be a good house. So we went and looked at it, loved it, loved the location, loved the neighborhood. It was like built in 2010, so it's still pretty new. Um, so yeah, we really liked it. And so we put in a backup offer on this house. It probably won't come to anything. They'll probably just end up with these people who get this 
crazy offer to them. Um, but we were like, well, there's no harm in trying. We don't get penalized for trying. So uh, we put an offer in yesterday because yesterday was Monday. So today's Tuesday. Haven't heard anything. I'm assuming the people who put in the offer have a couple days to decide if they want to like back out or not I don't think it's gonna happen but we thought like you never know and this market is so crazy and we actually were able to like not bid crazy because it's a backup offer we're not bidding a but against a bunch of people and I guess as of the time that we put in our offer we were the only ones to put in a backup offer so you know if it's meant to be it'll be it'll happen and if it's not meant to be then we'll just keep looking so I just wanted to give you an update. Sorry, this is a super long explanation. It's gonna make this vlog so long. But I just wanted to keep you guys updated. We're still looking uh, for more houses, but we do have this offer in. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated when I hear anything. Um, I'm not expecting us to get this house, but it would be awesome if we did. I mean, it would be good, but we'll see. So anyway, just wanted to give you that update and I'm sure I'll vlog sometime this week. I try to do at least two vlogs a week because I try to post two days a week. So um, tomorrow's supposed to be really, really warm. So maybe I'll vlog that or some other day this week. I'll just let you guys know. So anyway, try to stay warm um, if it's still cold where you are. I I'm so ready for this warm weather. So yes, try to stay warm. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!